welcome to this session. This session, we are going to solve equations resulting from composition of functions. So the first problem, if f of x is given by 2x and g of x is given by 1 over x minus 1, find all the solutions. of the equation f composed with g of x equals to g composed with f of x. So that's the problem. So for you to solve this problem, first step, interpret composition of f and g and then also interpret composition of f, uh, g and f, then equate the two composite functions and solve the algebraic equation that result in those two. So let's start by defining f composed with g. f composed with g of x will be f g of x, what should be? Now, when you give f an x, it multiplies that x by two. So when you give it g, which is given by one over x minus one, it will also multiply this one by two. So we'll get two over x minus one. So this is like our left-hand side of the equation. And then right-hand side, g composed with f of x by definition will be g of f of x which will be g f of x is 2x and when you give g an x it takes one over that x minus one so when you give it 2x it will take one over that 2x and then minus one now, according to what we have been given here, left-hand side, the same as right-hand side, i.e. f composed with g is the same as g composed with f. So if we call this one equation one, this one equation two, then we can say that one and two are the same. So that we say 2x over x minus 1 is equals to 1 over 2x minus 1. Now cross multiply. So we'll have, I remember this is 2 not 2x. This is 2 over x minus 1. So cross multiplication will give us 2 into 2x minus 1 equals to 1 into x minus 1 to be 4x minus 2 equals to x minus 1. Collect like terms. So 4x minus x equals to minus one plus two, four x minus x is three x, minus one plus two is one. So this implies that x 
equals to one over three. So that is the only solution for that given equation. Another problem, the same kind, number two, if f of x is given by two over x plus one, and g of x is given by three x, find all the solutions. of the equation f composed with g of x equals to g composed with f of x. In the same, same method of solving this question like the previous one. So uh, left hand side, f composed with g of x, by definition is f of g of x, which will be f g of x is 3x. Now, when you give f an x, it will take two over that x plus one. So when you give it 3x, it will take two over the 3x plus one. So call this one equation one. Right hand side, G composed with F of X will be G of F of X should be G of F of X is two over X plus one. And this function G, whenever it's given an X, it multiply that X by three. So you give it this input, it will do the same job, multiply that into the three. So three by this will be six over X plus one, that comes equation two. So then, with that, So the left hand side and right hand side, we can now simplify. So left hand side equals to right hand side or one equals to two, so that two over three X plus one is six over X plus one cross multiply two into X plus one equals to six into three X plus one. So which will be uh, opening brackets 2x plus 2, 18x plus 6. So when you collect like terms, eighteen x minus 2x, so this minus four equals to 16 X. So this tells us that X equals to minus four over 16. X is minus a quarter. Another question of the same kind, number three. If F of X is given by x q x squared and g of x is given by one over x squared minus three. Find all solutions of the equation. F composed with G equals to G composed with F of X. 
so solution you start by right left hand side f composed with g of x by definition you write f of g of x which is f of g of x is 1 over x squared minus 3. When you give f of x and uh, f and x, it squares it. So you do the same thing, 1 over x squared minus 3 square. So 1 over x squared minus 3 square. All this one question one and right hand side g composed f of x will be g of f of x which is g of x squared which will be given by g when you give it an x it takes one over that x squared minus three so it'll be one over x squared, you square it, you subtract three. Then this is equation two. And from the problem, left hand side equals to right hand side. So equation one equals to equation two. So we have one over x squared minus three, when you square, you get one over, this will be x power four, minus three. Then you cross multiply. So we'll have x power four minus three equals to x squared minus three square. So this implies we'll have x power four minus three. This would be x power four minus twice this would be six x squared and then plus minus three squared is nine. So in this equation, you clearly see that x power four cancels out. So this and this cancels out. So that we remain with minus six x squared plus nine minus uh, plus three equals to zero or six x squared minus 12 equals to zero so common factor is six so six into x squared minus two equals to zero so be the same thing as saying x squared minus two equals to zero. And clearly x would be plus or minus root two. So that would be the solution. Thank you.